Welcome back to Jewel Sports Cards and welcome to release day for Topps Baseball 2022 Update Series Hobby Box. It is the second release day video. It has been a great week here on Jewel Sports Cards. We're looking at 24 packs in this hobby box with 14 cards per pack. The thing with update this year is it's got the rookie checklist for the most part that we've been looking for from the Topps product more than any other release. So you actually have not short prints of Spencer Torkelson, Jeremy Pena, Bobby Wood Jr., and everybody's favorite, Julio Rodriguez, that we're looking to pull. Always, you get the home field advantages here, the poor man's version of the downtown. You get the chance to pull some numbered stuff. And update series also will have a lot of how do I say it? Nondescript cards that might come from it. So there will be a lot of things that we're going to just kind of keep it pushing on because 24 packs, 14 cards per pack. This is going to be a video that, A, you should buckle up and just enjoy the ride. Maybe pour yourself a cup of tea and enjoy yourself because it's about the journey. It's about the, it's about the climb, Miley Cyrus taught us right there. So let's just see what we can pull. There's one auto or mem card that you're looking for within this product specifically. Keep pulling up the Met poster boys so that we can see them clearly. We have the four stalls in the back there that will show us a option for thrown cards. The best four always end up back there. Here you can see a pack. I'll give you the odds because it's not on the back of... The box will give you kind of slightly zoomed in slow roll here. Print runs should be determined later on from this. But as you know, Tops has been um, behind in actually getting cards out. So I'm excited to see just what here we can pull. You got some shine on the die cut, it looks like. There is a William Woods rookie card to start. We're going to have a rookie pile of notable names hey there's your cover boy literally the same face right there oh you can't see it anymore max get down there he is max and max in the morning um there's a lot of cards that are just going to kind of go here on the veteran mike clevenger literally hot pilates right now keep those hamstrings loose my dude that's a funny picture and this looks like a, a <laughs> it's like the sparkle first of all jaron duran uh rookie debut but it's like the NBA um, hoops holiday blaster. We get like the little sparkle on the back there. That's what it feels like. Christmas sweater season, folks. It's October. It's day one of the World Series. But we also know that, okay, here's our die cut. And we got a rookie card behind it. Justin Verlander right there for Houston. Uh, that's a nice one. A JV World Series starts tonight. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening. I am not rooting for the Astros. Um, I think a lot of people are kind of stuck in the middle somewhere with this series, right? Not a ton of Phillies love in general in this country and probably even less for Houston because of a bunch of cheaters hitting trash cans. But I think Justin Verlander in some ways is bigger than that, right? Just because of his historic career. Especially coming out of the AL Central. You gotta represent the Midwest. So JV on the back there, mainly because it's a die cut for the World Series. You gotta just respect. Respect your elders. Respect Bryce here. And we'll just keep it pushing because as much as you want to talk about Adam Adovino, uh, he's not necessarily who we're looking for. Chris Paddock, certainly not who the Twins were looking for there. Um, you get a lot of rookies that are still not noteworthy in update. This year is just like juiced because of not only those guys that I said, but C.J. Abrams, right? Hunter Green. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a lot that we're going to see. When you have 24 packs, you just get an option for so many of the big names to be able to be pulled. So you're already seeing how many rookies there are, right? And a lot of the players that were traded or need a new card. Um, you know, there's Correa, short-lived Minnesota career, but one that is in there. So Gabriel Arias, there we go. First rookie, and there's that black and gold. That is going to be our first nice card of the rip here. And it is Ronald Acuna. So you can get this actually in um, some of the young players, which I hope maybe we can get a second 
just because that would be nice. These are not numbered, but they look so dang fresh. So Acuna, I mean, you want to see it more in the Young Bucks. Um, shout out AEW. Because they will then have just a little extra hype. But the card itself, I mean, to get a good name uh, like Acuna, you're always looking for that. I've been pulling Acuna out of baseball recently. She's just hanging out. Just being a part of the fam. Thanks, Ronnie, for doing that. We got cheapers, as I then treat him with just the utmost disdain. We also got Ryan Presley, former twin right here on the horizontal. And now you're getting some of these, right, where you're just going to see. Uh, let's see how many I show of this type. Oh, Suzuki on the right rookie debut, okay? Suzuki on the rookie debut. So less noteworthy than uh, the non-debut, but you still take it as it is because it's a rookie that people are wanting to talk about, right? Chicago wasn't in the news this much, that much this year, but still it's a major market, especially in baseball. Chris Archer, dude, where's the undershirt, man? That is such a cool picture. Doesn't really look like him to be completely honest. Looks more like a plumber there showing off all his chest hair. Plumbers are always just showing stuff. IKF, he was on the Twins for just a hot second. That's cool. 30,000. 30, and by 30, I mean three for Miggy. Nico Goodrum, another former Minnesota Twin that just is bouncing around the good old MLB. So you'll see a lot of these, right? Not the star names. Here we got a Chris Bryant. On the, on the 87, they'll give you something, right, of note. But other than that, you're getting a lot of just rookies and guys like Seth Lugo. Donovan rookie. It's a cool one. It's a good pick. Adam Engel. Adam Wood it. It's a no flex zone, Adam. Come on now. And Suarez. All right. So we're starting off not super hot. We've gotten two decent cards on the back of iconic players, but we're looking for the base cards of the Chase rookies. And here's one in the debut. We'll get Julio right there in a short sleeve. Uh, he debuted on April 8th. Long time ago, folks. He made his debut right there. Robbie, Ref Snyder. Not Rob Schneider. Don't get it twisted. And that feels... No, there's no thicky thick. I was wondering if there was, but I think I just got in my head. Wander Franco, rookie debut. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to get excited about the Franco rookies just because they've had so many already in different products. And still, though, got his rookie logo on it. Just get the debut on an update series. Taylor Rogers traded to the from the Twins early on in that series. Season for Chris Paddock. So he's a dude that uh, was going to hit for agent. And he played his hand well and got traded. And now, okay, let's see what we got here. This is something. Push him, pull him, do something. CJ Abram on the 87. That's what I'm talking about. Always fun to get the 87, having some sort of rookie assignment to it right there because that can just get the value higher. So that's going up there. I'm hoping to see that throne get knocked off. But we'll put CJ on for now. We're actually going to put him behind the box because we're going to assume he's going to be let go. But give him the chance to... To prove me wrong. Hey, MJ Melendez, actually a, a good ball player. One last dance that might not be. Uh, Wainwright's coming back. You never know with that news. Maybe Molina and Pujo say, all right, we got one more in us, right? What's more? Jeepers. Spin the wheel of fortune right there. Off of, sorry, I hit my camera. Trippy. It's always a new adventure on Joel's sports cards. So with that being said, please... Like, comment, and subscribe. Once we get 600 subs, we're going to have a giveaway of 600 cards of my very own heading to a subscriber. So if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, please do so to support the channel so that you can keep seeing reps like this to see Jose Miranda getting pulled. So many cards feel like they're thick, but it's just a 14-pack product, right? 14-card pack product. 100 career home runs for Juan Soto. I do like that of update. Like, if you're going to give me a card, give me something with history. Hey, C.J. Abrams, that's going to be just the standard base. So that's going to go alongside the Miranda. And we'll see what else we pull. 
Cheater. Not liking that card right there, I'll tell you that much. And here's a foil of Colin Moran. A Colin Moran foil. Not exactly what you're looking for, but a Bryson Stott rookie debut. More along the lines, especially with the World Series happening for him right now. And a couple here. Brandon Marsh, rookie debut. Still in the Angels. Didn't get him flipped over to the Phillies. So, unfortunate there, but... Okay, let's get these cards sleeved up, ready for what is to come. Uh, and a lot of cards here are maybe not like bingo, bango, bongo, absolute stunners, but you're going to get a lot of value out of it, right? Just a bunch of rookies, either their debut or their base, um, options to pull something numbered. Obviously, you really want that auto. You're aware the relic might come, but you're hoping for the auto. And just a great checklist this year. I mean, just exciting. I don't know if Update has had this much hype around it, um, including getting this nice silver pack, right? That's going to be something that could be absolute garbage or it could be something that you really pull and get excited about. There's only one way to find out, folks, and that is to keep ripping. So I hope in this time where everyone's talking about, hey, you know, markets are down, that we keep remembering that this is a hobby and it's not something that, um, needs to be focused on entirely with the market, right? If you're enjoying it, there's value that's coming out of that. I think we were maybe in a, a mindset a little bit there um, in 2021 of just like, this is so many people talking about it for money. Royce Lewis, so much potential. Um, but I'm hoping now with where the market is that some of the hobby and just enjoyment of a release day, a new product, what could come, that would bring us back to maybe a place that's a little healthier, in my opinion, of enjoying what is such a gift to just have pieces of cardboard provide joy and excitement and uh, connection amongst people. Like that's what's up, you know, that's what we're here for. So thank you for coming to my Ted talk. This has been Joel sports cards. Just kidding. This has a 24 pack box. So there's a lot in it um, to keep pushing and keep ripping. And hopefully you're getting some notes here for yourself. If it's something that you want to be pulling yourself and ripping, um, you're seeing you're seeing a good look of it all, right? Um, Jonathan Villar, not attractive picture right there. I'll just say that. Darren Ruff, rough one. But you're seeing here, all right, low. You're getting a read for what could be pulled from this. Nasta. Um, and then you can make your own decision. You saw the name. He keeps coming back. He wants to be known right now. Mariano Rivera on the 87. That's a cool one. Gotta love it. Castillo, rookie. Meadows. Nelson Cruz, the guy has now kind of entered the part of the season and his career, excuse me, where he's just trying to get on a team, right? He's going to give me one more big contract and... It's, it's unclear how long the train will keep going down the tracks, but we're getting a lot of different varieties of Nelson Cruz cards here at the end. That, that has been clear. So still no mem card it's looking like, but we'll see what it comes out of just the base card varieties. We're still looking out, Thomas. Good. Okay. Starting to get somewhere with the rookie, but still the Julio the torque, the Bobby Witt, just base rookies. We're waiting on the world to change John Mayer. At least when they go to this horizontal, they just drop them all, right? Not every pack has it, but it's like, here's your five that you can just then focus on. Bobby Witt. Bobby Witt debut on the uh, April 7th, day before Julio. He's been in our lives so much longer. I just feel like I know him better, you know? Know what his tendency are, tendencies are. No, makes him fit. Julio Rodriguez, though, would have been so fun to see in the World Series. I think, you know, Stott, that's somebody. Obviously, Pena, that's somebody um, for this rookie class to have. But Julio or Torkelson or Witt just had a hype behind them that was just different, right? And uh, you can't necessarily maintain the hype in a baseball se season. You have to have a little of it to start off. It can't just fully come. Adrian Martinez, quarterback, cheapers. I didn't know he had a card. Got him. Yeah, the hype in season is is one thing, but it needs to get to that full level of like extraordinary. It needs to have some initial preseason hype. 
and that can kind of bolster it even further than just what actual performance on the field does. I mean, it should be a lot better and more affected pricing wise because of what happens on the field, but we just know that's not always the case, right? For some reason, it's the mouths that talk about cards that really impacted. And, and I thank you for listening to mine talk about cards. It seriously can't be said enough that you all are the true pulse, the blood behind Jewel Sports Cards because you make it all happen. So thank you. Hey, say a Suzuki on there. Right there. Now let's keep that momentum and get some more rookie cards that aren't just George Kirby on the debut. But something a little special, right? Something that you can dig, like Duggar. There's Joe Ryan rookie debut. I'll give it to him. Hit him on the 2021. Schwarby, really. I mean, that guy has had comeback player of the year. Probably could be in the running just to realize how far he has come in as many homers as he did this year. To enter back into a conversation of being one of the best power hitters in the game today. As you're seeing, y'all, it's a lot of it's a lot of soft sleeves on that update hobby, right? You're not saying, hey, that needs to get top loaded. Um, which yeah, I kind of like because it means there's not as many die cuts, right? Tops fire. Love the product. So many die cuts that it's like you gotta top load everything. I'm enjoying just hey, this deserves a soft sleeve. Let's see as the market continues and these players' careers evolve, you know, is Al Thomas going to go up, go down, probably not stay the same, right? It's pretty rare for that to happen. Nothing thick, not seeing anything color. We haven't had anything numbered yet. That's a little disappointing. Here's a Pena debut. Jeremy Pena debut on the 7th. I didn't realize he was April 7th that early. Kind of felt in my head, no one was talking to him about him in the beginning of the year, but Sometimes it's just what your ears hear, right? And we think that means everyone hears it. All right, we got a Willie Mays, New York Giants, 51. Okay, this is a short print, no doubt in my mind. It's not numbered, but a cool Willie Mays short print. Wowzers. Okay, that's pretty cool. U.S. Army induction ceremony, Willie Mays short print. That's getting on the, that's getting on the throne. Respect the culture. Seeing the 51 on the stat line, that's a fun thing to see. So we got four in the throne status right now. Don't forget CJ Rooms 1987 hiding behind Pete and Max on the uh, hobby box there. Can't see it, but you know it's there. Just like the wind. That's what that CJ Rooms 1987 card is. It's just like the wind. And uh, we'll see what else we get from this pack right here. Lenolo. Rookie, love the name. I'm a big Nick Lodolo fan just because of his name. And there it is, folks. The one we've been waiting for after we put just something on the throne. The Julio Rodriguez Base Paper Tops Update Series 2022 Julio. Now, what are you going to do on this? The Verlander die cut maybe gets knocked off. Probably the C.J. Abrams actually deserves it so let's do this verlander behind the behind and then abrams will be revealed after it's just a hit not a throne status card gotta make the tough decisions sometimes folks and joel sports cards when you have 24 packs is here to do that work for you so let me know in the comments below, are you interested in, in buying the update? I know blasters are available too, if that's a skew that feels like it's a little better for you. Is this a product that you see how many rookies are actually noteworthy this year that you can pull that interests you more than the average, hey Montero, not bad, average update series? Because usually this is stuff that sits on the shelf and isn't really getting many two people interested in. But I think this year we could have a different approach to it. Um, and Hobby is just at such a better price point now than it's really been. There we got another die cutty of, let's just hold that one. Nice one span, jeeps. A one span die cut right there. Milwaukee Braves. 
Back when uh, it wasn't the Atlanta team. Careful. Almost had it. Careful. Small screen experience. Got it. Then we'll throw just the top loader on this bad boy to keep it nice. Keep those corners from getting dinged. That's what we're all looking for in our lives. It's just less dinged corners. Got it right there, and let's see the end here of Josh Harrison. And stars collide right there. That's cool. New teammates focus before opening day. You know, Correa and Buxton, they just didn't play enough together this year. That's what was kind of frustrating. It's like, man, I wish that those two guys, which are box office draws, would have been able to pull more people to target field where the Twins play. But they were sitting so much, and I get Buxton has injuries, and I mean, I guess I feel like Correa wanted to play. I don't feel like it was a Correa saying like, "Yo, I, I just don't have it." Um, he was pretty committed to the Twins this year, and the Twins tried to be committed to him. That's cool, Pujols. Love the hat. That's classy, actually. That that's when you get the soft sleeve. There we go, Pena. Yes, Pena on the rookie base. Good one. We'll keep it pushing. But I like that uh, end of Pujols' career. Just a shout-out. Tip the hat. Wouldn't know what you're doing. Hey, Edward Cabrera. Now, not in this checklist um, as a base, but Edward Cabrera rookie. That's actually really cool to get the generation now of Cabrera. Um, if the throne needed a card right now, that would definitely be going there. But throne's full right now, folks. There's not a lot of room for more people to just pick up and say, give me the ball, watch what I do with it. We got people doing stuff. We don't need people to be taking over. But the Cabrera, just because there's not another Cabrera card out, I probably should get something, folks. The Willie Mays. Oh, he's got to go. He's going to go. This, this back right here <laughs> is just the hidden card. That is just kind of like, ah, uh, we can't really get something to pop hard on it. It's just kind of chilling, but it's got something. And Pena here, there's something. The pool host reminds me of the Undertaker silhouette base card out of, I think it was Select. It's just like, this is a base card, but it's got something more than that, right? It's, it's significant, and you can tell it's going to matter. It's like the LeBron... Uh, tribute to Kobe in Prism. It was just like, this is special to get something like that coming. Doesn't happen all the time. Uh, an acknowledgement of history in a card. A lot of times it's just like, here's a guy swinging a bat. Um, but you can feel the significance of that, oh, darn it. that card in this year and what that all means. Shane Boz, rookie debut. Tommy Pham in the <laughs> fantasy conundrum of the year i mean you think your fantasy team has drama at least it doesn't get put in the headlines of every major outlet for us all to read right kind of a interesting story to know that fantasy can impact these people that have real things and the game's actually going on i don't know getting off that soapbox here to just keep it pushing and aaron judge okay not numbered short print 2022 all-Star Game creds. Oh, my goodness. A blue Aaron Judge All-Star Game card. So not numbered, but you get these blue as just kind of a exclusive card. That's going to be tough to not throw in. Come on. Okay. I'm sorry, Ronald. You are not the story of the year. Um, I love the look of the black and gold. Don't get me wrong. But a blue Aaron Judge card. Anything Judge, right? Um, obviously didn't have the best postseason. And that is saying it very lovingly. That's like a mom saying you look handsome when uh, maybe, you know, you could argue elsewhere. It's kind of like that you need to say that to be nice. Um, but he still had an incredible year that will be known. And to get the all-star game, which kind of locks you into the year, right? Like it's not just... Um, <clears throat> A base card of the standard year like it's like judge was an all-star this year for a reason because he broke the al home run record 
And that is something that needs to be celebrated and to get it in a special color is even better than, than we could ask for of just a random hobby box that's pulled here. So, so far, nothing that's like insane. Got a little color there. We'll see what, what it is. But really solid box. Just a really solid Hunter Green rookie. Giving you what you want. Um, an Andrew Kinsler hug. I mean, that's what you, that's what the people came here for. Mackenzie Gore rookie. We got a Gore card, right? I don't even know if I've talked about him. Here's something numbered. Say I Suzuki numbered out of you see it 30 out of 99 folks. That is something. Now it's gonna be the MLB debut. Oh my goodness. Hit him with that tops logo there. Out of three. Excuse me, out of 99. So that tops logo is how this card is different. Out of 99. Okay, that is helping this box go from solid to above average. And right behind it, also the material is different on this one. It's um it's a nicer cardboard. Maybe it's the old style of cardboard. Let's get a little something on it. Seiya Suzuki. Yes. Out of 99, folks. If you're having card problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but Suzuki ain't one. Hit them with it. Also, okay, now we got the short print. I, it's, it's getting too much. I, I, the, throne's, the throne's out. We're out on the throne today, folks. We're breaking records. We're changing things because you also got the foil of the Albert Pujols card, which uh, centering, not great there. Left to right, you can see pretty clearly. But if you're looking for a card of a noteworthy man in a noteworthy moment, that is it, folks, to get the foil of it too. Extra special right there. Fun to watch. Good stuff of the iconic people from this and still more to go. You got to love update, folks. I'm giving it my thumbs up. Sign of approval. Go get yourself a box. You make your own decisions, but it would be a bummer, pun intended, for you to miss out on this product that has so much value, especially right now uh, with some cards like Edward Cabrera not having other available cards in the marketplace. You're just getting that's your chance. Generation now. Now is the moment. Eventually... They'll have him be in Series 1 next year, and all will kind of flood the market. But right now, you got a moment of the short print. What in the world? Normal card looks so unique. I did not see that coming. I was like, is this something? Oh, it's something, all right. Rookie of C.J. Abrams. Rookie debut, C.J. Abrams. And we're still not even on the hit yet. That's the best part. Gore rookie, just standard fun to watch got a rookie of jj Brea. just kidding freddie freeman out of 2022 at least it's a big name right freddie freeman not just some rando cool card there centering terrible absolutely awful left to right centering and it's still a 2022 out of 2022 card so something to be Grateful for that Freddie, not in the World Series. I think that is pretty crazy. We haven't really talked enough that the Dodgers and the Yankees are not in the World Series. Like, I did not see that coming. I think most people had them pegged from a long way out. Stephen Kwan, good rookie. That they would be the teams that would be playing tonight. Not the case, folks. Got some two other teams, and, and good for them, right? They've played hard all year. They deserve the spotlight. We'll hopefully hope for a good series. It's always fun when you can get seven, especially when you don't have a strong rooting interest in it. Just see more baseball, because once baseball goes, it's still April. Uh, it's winter time, right? Especially us Midwesterners. We know it's, it's locked in, and you just got to get through that winter. So this is kind of the last glimpse of baseball. And then, you know, football is always a big one, too. When you lose that in February, you're like, all right, I'm wanting baseball to come. You can talk yourself into spring trainings in this month, but it's a long ways away. It's, it's not short. We try to act like it's going to arrive quickly, but 
February is the shortest month in days, longest in how it feels, no doubt in my mind. I would be interested to hear how people in the South feel about February more. You know, if it's not a winter cold thing, what do you think about February? Is it a fun month or is it still, I guess, like kind of in the middle of summer and kids are out of school. Things are just, uh, especially baseball fans, right? Things are just popping more in, in the summer. You got to love it. So we still got more batch smokes, and I am already so thrilled with what this product has given uh, me and uh, hopefully you, because hopefully you get your own box here and you get to enjoy Tops Update Series 2022 for yourself. Ramos rookie, rowdy, getting rowdy with the Tellez. Hey, there you saw Winder. Um, we do get another, and this is what I was looking for, a Hunter Green rookie card on the black and gold. That's what I'm talking about. To pull it in a bigger name, obviously, would be even more stunning. But you take what you get, and you don't have a fit. And Hunter Green had the season going so well to start. Kind of hit some rough spots, but there was so much potential in Hunter Green's game that was kind of just untapped and I think still is so we're hoping there that he can be a guy that really takes off next year because baseball needs more pitchers I think you know we always say like the long ball is what brings in casual fan and for sure it does um, but there's something so cool about pitching you know like a kid thinking about the game and just wanting to stand on that mound Tapia cool card there for Tapia just want to stand on that mound and be dominant, be assertive, just slam. There's the torque base that we've been waiting for. Torkelson base card right there. We'll sleeve that up in a second once we're done with this pack. I can't believe it, y'all. You're getting basically everything. We got the Julio. We got the Spence. We've gotten a first paragon in the postseason, Reggie Jackson. We have gotten Al Bobby Whip, but it was the rookie debut. We also just got a Hanser, Hanser Alberto. So, got that going for us. Joe Kelly and Jake Lamb. Are you wearing khakis, Jake Lamb? That's what I need to know. Tortelson didn't have the best start to an MLB career that you would ask for. And still, guys got so much potential. Sometimes it takes three years to really lock in in the majors. Like, it's not like other sports where... Okay, you're up and, you know, a basketball player, Bankero, is just already ready. Stop, rookie base. Bada bing. Out the gate. Odorizzi. Space City. Space Cadet. Akala. <laughs> Panena. Former twin. Loving his life just getting out. Hit him with the tongue. It's like Michael Jordan. Just not in the air. Just standing on the mound. All right, let's line up here. Folks, thank you for, if you're still watching this, I mean, it's a marathon going through a Tops update. Uh, Hobby Box specifically. It's it's a lot of names you don't care about. Cool moments, right? Miggy in the All-Star game. You could argue it was a little bit forced. Um, I would listen to that argument. Uh, sp specifically because Kamish chose him. But it is also good for the game for Miggy to have that spot for baseball to be acknowledging some of the great players. I mean, they certainly need to be pushing the next generation. This rookie class should be just really focused on as a potential re-engagement of younger fans into the sport. I mean, Julio is so stinking cool. He could bring in some folks. And I hope that I pull a Julio auto and that brings in some folks to Joel's Sports Cards, this channel, if you are watching this right now and haven't hit the subscribe button, what are you doing? You're committed. You want to support the channel. Please do so official, officially. Give yourself a Philly Phenom high five and make it happen. Molly, not on the Reds anymore. Traded to the Twins. And uh, there's a Hunter Green. Nice Hunter Green. Rookie card on the... Uh, we'll just put this right down here. 87. Tribute. Uh, Spencer, Torkelson, rookie debut. You really just get everything in a hobby box. I mean, what are we missing? I think it's just a Bobby base. I, I would like to see a home field advantage. Obviously, there's a hit that's still to come. But to get Judge in the blue 
to get Pujols in the foil, to get a Suzuki with the RC logo out of 99, old school tops logo, different stock of the card. I mean, that's what you want, folks. We've hit the final four packs on the bottom of this box. We're starting to see not the cardboard in these packs, but cardboard of the box. And then we have the silver one, four trading cards in that that we'll see what we can pull and enjoy from that specific pack. So many rookies in this. I mean, it is iconic. Because all these guys come up, they get a moment in the sun. And, um, you know, a lot of them won't end up being hobby value guys. But this year, because I think some of the delay in the supply chain. Oh, oh found some. Ron Piles. Okay, here's a, here's a foil. Jan Gomez. Not the best, but hey, I got a, a pool hose foil. I just wish the centering on the pool hose would have been like that one of the gums. That would have been nice. Um, Logan. Logan Webb. What an icon. That face is just incredible. All right. So I'm uh, I'm still a, a buy on this. It's always hard when the last packs maybe are some of the more ending with a fizzle, not a bang. And I'm kind of talking myself into that. It's going to be the reality, right? Especially the the auto sometimes doesn't pop. We could get on average, right? You never want to feel that, but Archie Bradley's beard. I don't want to feel Archie Bradley's beard. That thing would just eat me up. It's just like a monster. Just consumes you. Just like Kenley Jansen's fastball. All consuming. Hey, here's a Arias rookie debut. We're looking at this auto... Uh, or men is just last pack mojo potential. Bruhan debut. He doesn't have his rookie in it, but he's got a debut right there, which is a cool one. Still has potential, right? Didn't have the best start to a career, but still has potential to be someone noteworthy for this sport. Penultimate pack. Maybe the auto's in the silver back, and maybe it's going to be absolute straight fire. Tops fire. You know what I did there. You get it. Some of the OGs really understand. Nothing thick. Again, we just keep living. Hunter Green base. Okay, we haven't gotten the Hunter Green base yet. That was one we missed, but <laughs> feels like about all that has been missed when you got. I don't even want to do the math. 24 times 14. Stephen Kwan rookie debut. Haven't seen yet. They just, it's, it's almost like purchasing the complete set. Let's just be honest. It wouldn't be that difficult. Okay, folks, this is a redemption card. We got to put it at the end. We got to, this, Joel doesn't do this often, folks, but that is, you just get the redemption and you got to build the heat. As I'm talking about, hey, oh, it's not going to be a great end. I, I'm kind of underselling it. I promise I wasn't trying to reverse jinx it. Um, it could still be nothing, but to see a day, the rod, Redemption, that's what I was looking for, is something that is exciting. I don't pull redemptions often in the products that I uh, rip here. Aces up. So we got to just uh, be grateful for whatever it is. Take it as. And we get the Bobby Wood Jr. base as I'm talking about. This card has everything. Duran even. The boy Duran for the twins. The closer. This box has everything. I said, boy, I fumbled my words because I'm just so excited. I can't hide it. And here's a backwards card. Rookie combos, Penn Murphy, Danny Young. And, okay, also just undersold that O'Neal Cruz rookie debut because of the backwards short print of Penn and Danny. Not really the best there. And I'll just say that. All right. A lot going on here. I'm going to sleeve up some of these. Uh, soft sleeve, and then we'll go to the silver pack. And then, folks, we are going to go to the redemption. I don't know who is on this list that didn't sign yet. One can hope it's Julio. One can hope it's Bobby Witt. One can hope it's Spencer Torkelson. I don't know who it is, though. It could be Alex Degatti. It's just sitting there, right? He's got his card in here. Alex might have said, hey, you got to give me more than you're offering. Alex, the guy, he could be playing hard on us and saying, I'm not going to sign until I get the contract I deserve. Well, Alex, if that's your case, 
You've gotten this video hyped up for nothing. Not nothing. You aren't nothing. You are something, Alex. Let's, let's give you your moment. You're an MLB player. You are a professional athlete. I'm an amateur YouTuber. That's all I am. Tops, silver, path. What will it hold? Something saucy, let's hope. A little extra sauce. Okay, George Kirby on the mojo to start. Stephen Kwan mojo, great, right there. That's, I'm happy with that one. Rodon, and then end with Nolan Ryan, and then end with celebration. Long live the moment, okay? I'd say the Kwan there's nice. Hit him with the Kwan, uh, and George Kirby could be something, right? These cards are just so bendy. So bendy like Beckham. All right, that's enough of just the waiting, folks. Let's get after it. Let's see what is behind these cards. So we're going to do, obviously, Sonny Gray needs his moment in the sun. Uh, Palanti needs his moment. Anthony Bass right there. Oh, my gosh. I'm just going to show you it all. I've never had to do this. Okay. Tops Redemption right here. First, I need to make sure that I don't show, like, a scratch-off part of it. Okay. You are due to receive all-star stitch autograph of Alec Manoa. Alec Manoa, all-star stitch auto. Okay. Still good. Got till August 31st, 2024 to do this. Um, Manoa's hot Cheetos. You just think that Alec Manoa is signed and it's the rookies. So when you see it, you just get pumped. But hey, we pull a redemption. It's a great box. It's something to be excited about. All-Star Stitch Auto is actually pretty cool. If that's an all-star um, moment. Can you see my hat line right there? Incredible. Folks, I highly recommend Tops Update Hobby Box. Go find one for yourself. It's a, a 40 plus minute endeavor to open it. So that is a ton of fun for your money. Enjoy yourself. Keep on being people that support the wonderful elements of this hobby. Hopefully you view that also as dual sports cards. And hopefully we get to 600 subscribers soon so that 600 of my personal cards could be heading from me to you. Until next time, y'all. Keep ripping. Peace.